Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Kerber Space Program. So today, uh, I'm making another montage type of video. This is episode 2, and I have about 3 designs to show off. It's called Hisjian. I don't know what the heck that name is. As I said in the previous video, I'm just naming uh, these designs uh, exactly what the name of the picture was, where I got it from. So this is very similar to a previous design that I showed in the last episode, but this one actually disconnects and has an engine there, so we're going to give that a go. I believe this can go to space, yes 100% it can go to space, and I'll explain the design as I go along. I can orbit, I can, I just need to be cautious about how I do it. Because this aerospike rocket is still pretty powerful, even though they uh, doubled it down a bit. And look at that. High lift rating. Be cautious about that. I've completely forgot about that, actually. To be honest. Alright. Uh, get back to 90. 90 degrees. And there it is. Okay. Time to explain. We have plenty of air intakes, as you can see. We need them because the more high you go up in the atmosphere, the more thin the air is, the more air required for these engines. Because right now, there's enough air supplying these engines. Up there, high in atmosphere, there is not. So that's what these air intakes are for. Which is a great feature um, compared to previously. When there weren't any air intakes or anything along those lines. And I have this uh, ram air intake as well. Superheat and compress engine. Air, I think something like that does something, and then I have this. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, dual stack. I think dual stack coupler, maybe I don't really remember. And I have these two engines. Weirdly, I had to actually put uh, these fuel ducts. Actually, this actually the fuel can pass from here to here down there, but because that's what it says in the description, but it didn't do that. Which is weird, so I still had to put this uh, fuel duct there. Unfortunate, but true. Alright, so there's a problem with this. What I need to do is point down. Why, you ask? Well, if I point straight up and the amount of mass is backwards, then this thing's going to flip over. If I sort of go on this angle that I'm on now, it, it will help out a bit. And we're still going up. Look at that, see? Alright, what I'm going to do is disconnect this. There it goes. Alright, oh shh. Oh, there it is. Alright, 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 alright. Excellent here. So let's raise it up. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh great. Back to 90 please. Damn. This is working better before. Okay, we'll get back to 90. Oh, we're slowing down. New. Uh, come on, get back down. Come back there. Oh, gosh, this is not easy. It's because of the stupid air. It's the air that's doing this. Okay, maybe if I throttle up, that will help out. New. No, definitely not. Get over there. Okay, fine, whatever. Oh, yes. Stay there. No. No. Shh. Okay, I think I need a bit of practice. What's the problem? The front. I think the front is the problem. Uh, well, we've slowed down. I don't think we're going to get in orbit now. Because that's what this thing can do. There it is. Stay there. It should stay right there. It should. Okay, if I balance it out right. Shoot. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I right, fine. Let's go the opposite way. Uh, uh, no, gosh, I give up. This is a f There's a flaw in this design, people. Okay, we're falling, aren't we? Well, you know, I'm gonna restart this. I'll be right back. All right, so we are pretty high up, and I might disconnect. I might disconnect very soon. Hmm. How's it going? Okay, I'll, I'll put my mouse there. And if it, if the plane moves, but yet. 
Trap. Kidding me? Look at this. SAS. How useless sometimes. Stay there, please. Honestly. Not strong enough. Alright, fine. We finally got it. Okay, where'd the stuff go? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Uh, we've surpassed them. That's nice. Oh, great. Overheating. Not what we wanted. What? Now it's fairly stable, right? You can't really control it when it's falling down. Or if it's going against the wind. Like crazy. Oh, oh, we're getting an orange looking aerospike rocket. It's looking orange. Alright, so we're heading up mainly. So we're going to balance this out a bit. Okay, let's throttle down. Okay, we're still accelerating, so that's fine. How's this looking? Okay, so let's throttle up even more. Point the nose down, and yes, space has become a mess. I've been testing uh, the new rocket that I want to go to to all other planets. So it's going to be the ultimate rocket, but not for some of you that have bad computers. When I mean bad computer, I mean slow computer. What I can do here uh, is a bit different. I can either get to that very spot and then accelerate again because right now I'm wasting fuel yeah I'm wasting fuel okay this thing won't exactly orbit so this is a suborbital orbital flight which is nice yeah. here we go that was quick right that was forward okay Let's throttle up again. Here we go. Point the nose down a bit more. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, we might make it. Wow. Did not expect that. Alright. Put the nose down again. Throttle up. Hey, we made it. Wow. We have leftover fuel, fuel too. Great. Okay, this isn't made for docking. So I'll let you know. Okay, anything here? Did they? Ooh, was that there before? That looks like speakers. Don't know why. Well, that's nice. Next design. Okay, you guys are gonna like this one. This is called the Oberon, I believe. That's the name for some reason. I didn't name it. Someone else did. It has small gear bays, of course. And why haven't the game developers introduced the large gi bay or the medium gi bay someone please tell me why aside from that let's continue oh oh it's because it's not moving that's expected once it's done moving it'll be fine yeah so very basic but what that's right this is vertical this is vertical that's how it moves this is quite a cool design and it glides as well. It glides just like that. And you can turn that around to the side, but obviously you have to be careful with the keys about what you do. I can turn it like that. And it does the job nicely. So obviously you have to be careful. Lift it up. It's a bit slow. I might have to throttle up there. Don't want to smash. That's why I'm lifting it up. Okay, it is good. Got close to the ground there, but it's all good now. Turn it back on again. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, you may be wondering why I had a lot of fuel. <laughs> oh wait, let me get to that. Was that it? No. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I had that there. There's a lot of few boosters there. Just the small ones. Um, just to help out with the weight because there's a problem with the mass and so most of the weight is at the front now well not necessarily if I click that the weight is there but before it was all the way down back back here because of the wings but I fixed that up because of those those uh, solid fuel boosters there or whatever else their name is let's just check Sepratron? let's call them solid fuel booster right that's what it was called before. Okay, uh, next design.
To be honest, I don't even know why I'm showing this design. <laughs> it's too basic. What we have is advanced SAS, a small proper divine octo here. Octagon, which is nice. I like that shape. It suits things. And then it should lift up. There it is. There it is. Not meant to happen. Not meant to happen. Oh yeah, you get the guys. You guys get the idea of of this design. It's not meant to do that. Did something fall off? Yes, yeah, so I've noticed these struts survive a lot. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's the end of these designs. There's only three, and I will show you a m little sneak peek. That's right. USS Enterprise. I'm working on that. I'll show it, but I'm not actually gonna try it or maybe I will but it doesn't work uh, well here's how it looks so far USS Enterprise people I hope you guys think that's that actually looks like it there's a big problem with the struts it's not strong enough this is too powerful uh, this is a problem thrust when this turns on uh, it actually makes the whole thing flip around but I'm trying to work on that and I'll just show you <laughs> how it fails completely okay this is gonna be nice alright three oh see that look at that that's a glitch glitch I found I actually put it all these uh, fuel tanks in here to actually weigh the front down to equalize everything and that's what I got these little floating things. Weirdness. I know. Alright. <laughs> I still didn't get that. It's going to tear apart. Alright. Three. I'll just hold down S. That way everything lifts it off. Three. Two. One. Oh shit. I forgot to disconnect. Oh. Lag. Oh my gosh. Ah. Yes, 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 yes. As you could see, everything just fell straight down. I need a few to fix a few things here. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.